guys so today we're gonna be talking about my everyday hair routine and when I say every day I mean every three or four or five day hair routine because I don't wash my hair every day that's the first step in my hair routine don't wash your hair every day kids um, it actually dries it out and your hair does not need to be washed every day it has natural oils that will build up and actually help your hair be a lot healthier that get stripped away when you wash your hair so if you avoid washing it every day you will definitely notice that it gets a lot shinier and a lot healthier in the long run um, what I did is I just took a couple months during one summer to train my hair because initially your hair will get greasy on like the first and second day but now I can go four or five days and my hair will not be greasy to the point where I can't put it up in a bun and hide it. So I don't wash my hair all that often. Um, I will take body showers but I'll just put my hair up in a little bath cap or something like that. Um, but that is kind of the basics of my hair routine. So now I will rewind a couple of hours to right after I got out of the shower and I will take you through step by step exactly what I do to my hair and how I do it. So let's get started. Alright, so first step in hair care starts in the shower, obviously, and that's the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using. And the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using was actually sent to me, but it was sent to me like three months ago, and I've been trying it out using it every time I wash my hair, and I wanted to make sure that it actually lived up to all of its claims. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, it 100% does, and I even had my hairdresser when I went in to get my hair cut a couple days ago tell me how healthy and how thick my hair was and I was like I know that's like that's what I've been noticing so this totally lives up to the hype and so I'm totally raving about these and will be repurchasing them with my own money when I run out because I like them that much so just know that these were sent to me but I'm doing a hundred percent honest review and I totally totally love them so the two products are the Pura Dor I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Argon Oil Premium Organic Shampoo Hair Loss Prevention Therapy. And then the Pura Dor um, Argon Oil Premium Organic Conditioner in Lavender Vanilla. And this stuff smells so good. I'm obsessed. Um, this one, the smell is kind of like woody and like a little bit more musky. Um, and they said that this can be used, both of them I think. Well, this one says for both men and women. Um, I guess men don't necessarily want to smell like lavender or vanilla, but like if Donnie smelled like lavender or vanilla, I wouldn't really have an issue. And that being said, Donnie's totally used these products too and really likes them, so we just give big thumbs up all around. Um, but basically, as I said, this is a hair loss prevention therapy product, and you might be like, Anna, you don't have hair loss issues. That's true, but when I get stressed out, I've actually noticed that I'll be in the shower and I'll be washing my hair and like a lot of hair will come out and since using that, it's actually decreased a lot, which I thought was really impressive. So the main claims that the company makes about this product is that it's going to increase hair growth as well as decrease hair loss. Um, and it also includes like hair in the drain as one of those. So I think that the fact that I've noticed is significantly less that I've noticed significantly less hair coming out of my head in the shower definitely speaks to that so I give them a big thumbs up on that claim. The second one is that it increases volume in your hair and strengthens your hair and my hairdresser noticed that so I guess that's a second thumbs up um, and I do notice like look how big and voluminous my hair is. I've never had really fine hair but I've never had a lot of hair so the fact that like it's this voluminous um, definitely says a lot and I've noticed when I've been straightening my hair that it looks a lot fuller um, and I really really like that it also says it adds shine um, which I haven't seen a major increase in the shininess of my hair but I've never had very dull hot hair I've always had pretty shiny hair as it is so I think it it's done a fine job with that as well um yeah I don't know I don't I don't necessarily have that much to say about it but my hairs look nice and shiny so thumbs up on that one as well. And then they also say that this is 100% organic, contains natural ingredients, and is not tested on animals. All of which I think are really important things. I'm not the type of person that insists that all their products are organic because so many makeup products aren't, but I do really appreciate when I can find a great product that I love that is organic um, because obviously you want to put the best things on and in your body. So the fact that this is organic is like a big thumbs up for me. Um, and it's doctor recommended, so it's safe, it's effective, um, and I 
totally, totally love it. I can't say enough good things about this. Definitely go check it out. Again, I'll have them linked in the bottom bar below, so make sure you go ahead and check them out. Um, and they also went ahead and sent me this little guy, which is the Pour Adore Argon Oil Body, Hair, and Face Treatment. And I love this stuff. Um, it's thinner than the... <laughs> It's thinner than the Moroccan oil that I used to use, um, but I really, really like it. And so that's why I started the video here. I figured it was kind of pointless to show me showering. Um, so I showered, I washed my hair using these two products. And now the next step in my hair care routine is to apply the Argon oil. So it comes in a little dropper. So I take about five or six drops and I rub it between my hands. And then I apply it to the ends of my hair, just working it through. And you don't want to use too much. Um, the first time I tried this out, I made the big mistake of thinking because it was so thin that I needed to use a lot and my hair looked super greasy the next day. So I found that like five or six drops throughout my entire head of hair is effective and I concentrate it mainly on the ends, but then I also kind of come up and with like the remaining little bit, apply that through the rest of my hair. So. I totally love their products. I think they're so nice and I will definitely keep purchasing them. I also really enjoy using this on my face and that's part of the reason that I didn't do my makeup. Mostly because I have an order to my like daily routine and I don't like to do my face before I do my hair. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but I also really like applying this to my face as a moisturizer. Donnie is obsessed with this and he thinks it's really helped um, with his skin. His skin gets kind of like red and bumpy in the winter um, and when he like shaves too frequently so he really likes using this kind of afterwards to kind of calm down his face and really moisturize it and it's really not too heavy it doesn't clog your pores so I love starting my makeup routine with this stuff so I just kind of pat it and work it into my face as I said it's really lightweight and nice so that's pretty much my entire hair care routine um, I don't really use a lot of other products. Obviously, I use a heat protectant, and I'll go into that when I get to the next step. But that's kind of it for, for like the main hair care that I do. Um, it's pretty low maintenance, but I love this company. I love these products, so I really want to talk to you guys about it. Now I'm going to go ahead, and we'll go blow dry my hair, and we'll continue on with the rest of the routine. All right, step number two in my hair care routine is blow drying my hair. And I get a lot of little frizzies that go on. As you can see, my hair texture is like all over the place. It's kind of curly, kind of straight, kind of crimpy. Not really sure what it's doing. So I like to start by blow drying the top half. I've let my hair dry at this point probably about 80% and then I just go ahead and I spray in my heat protectant spray. This is the Tresemme heat tamer spray um, or the Tresemme thermal creations heat tamer spray. Um, I've been using this for ages. It's my like tried and true go-to drugstore heat tamer. Drugstore heat protectant. Um, it's great. I love it. And then I just brush it through. And then I just go ahead and blow dry. I really don't have a system for blow drying my hair. I, yeah, I just kind of go for it. And I just kind of focus on these front pieces and this top. And then I just kind of haphazardly blow dry everything else. Because it gives it some volume and it also kind of decreases that kind of frizzy flyaway look that I get a lot of times if I just let my hair air dry. So... We'll go ahead and I'll just show you that and I'll voice over what I'm doing because no one wants to talk and blow dry at the same time. Alright ladies? Alright, let's go. I always start by blow drying the roots of my hair and I first blow dry them down and then I blow dry them the opposite direction. By blow drying them down I get rid of the frizz and by blow drying them the opposite direction I get a little bit more volume. And then I just kind of run my brush through my hair as I blow dry to help even out any of the kind of kinks and curls as much as possible and then I just kind of blow dry the rest of my hair to make sure it's all 100% dry because we don't want to fry our hair when we curl it or straighten it next. And then I flip my hair upside down, blow dry a bit more volume into it and I'm done. Alright, hair is blow dried. As you can see it is huge. Uh, my hair always looks absolutely hilarious when I finish blow drying it. but. I don't know if you can tell, it is significantly less like frizzy and it's also less curly which makes um, curling it or straightening it that much easier. Um, if I'm straightening it, it's not as big a deal but if I am curling it, it does really help to have less of a natural curl because it kind of helps um, get more uniform curls. Um, so if I'm going for a messy look, it doesn't really matter but 
I've been trying to do kind of more structured curls recently for work um, or like kind of big loose curls that almost look like you got a blowout and that really helps to have like straighter hair when you're starting because it looks a little bit more polished so then I just go ahead and brush out my hair I just kind of run that through kind of decrease the puff so after this I go ahead and I do my makeup and then I do my hair however I want to do it for the day so if you want to see how I straighten my hair you can click here and if you want to see how I curl my hair you can click here and if you want to see heatless hairstyles you can click right in the middle so that'll cover all of your bases depending on whatever you want to do with your hair that day um, and then I'll come back at the end and I'll show you what it looks like comment below right now telling me how you think I'm gonna do my hair today let me know in the comments below sound good sounds good all right so I'm back as you can see I straightened my hair let me know in the comments below if you got it right my hair just looks so shiny and healthy and even though it's straight and I have pretty fine hair it looks really voluminous and I'm just loving it I think it looks so healthy and so beautiful so big five bazillion thumbs up to poor Adore hair products I'm in love with them um, so definitely go ahead and check out their link it will be in the description box below and let me know in the comments below what your current favorite shampoo is and if you try out their products then let me know what you think in the comments below or let me know on Twitter because I love hearing what you guys think so yeah that's about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you found it helpful and I'll talk to you in my next video bye guys